So we'd like to dive deeper into the idea of not only spill zones, but managing VCAs, managing what you're controlling on individual channels, and starting to fold in some of the ideas of zones with attention zones, and actually also look at nested VCAs as well. So back on the desk, we're going to go uh, back to our VCAs. And um, we have uh, a group of uh, gang vocals, which uh, we're going to basically do first just do an auto spill. Again, pressing the attention on this VCA is going to reveal that I actually have multiple VCAs underneath that VCA. It's a nested VCA. And the idea there is that uh, in this case, if you've got a large collection of background vocals or if you've got a large collection of percussion or drums or horns, you can literally classify everything into all horns and then brass and then you know basically subdivide everything into, into trees that you can better manage and even blend with automation. So uh, if we back up, just by pressing the spill on the GVox All, uh, that gave me GVox A, B, and C groups. And uh, if we just jump, let's just jump into our memory locations here for a second, and we'll just go grab, you know, jump into a, a piece of, on the song. And I, if I solo for a second, I'm going to hear all the gang vocals. And um, if I want to isolate maybe just the Bs, the B group, I can literally just look at the Bs and say, there's, there's something in there I want to work on that blend. OK, that's cool. Let's now dive into the B group. And to do that, I can just hit attention on B. That's going to jump down that tree. And now I'm actually looking at the members of the group of specifically of, of gang vocal B. So I, I'm in this nested group. Now, you know what? Let's say we want to look at, um, let's just go to our insert view. And I've got Renaissance Vox and all these. We're just going to bring it up on a couple different channels. And I can really quickly look at compression, gate, and gain on any of these individual channels. I can blend. Um, and I've got my pan controls right up above. So if I need to work on you know, the width and the, the, the spread of these elements, I can. But the idea is um, I was able to get and find those very, very quickly and then isolate specific tracks that I need to work on. Now again, now that I've dove into the group down a couple layers, I can press menu and that's going to take me back up to the subgroup of GVox A, B, and C. If I press menu again, it's going to take me back up. In this case, out, it's going to actually clear the zone, right? So you can go up or down uh, into these nested VCAs. That's, it's actually incredibly powerful. So I want to show the same kind of workflow, but in a slightly different way. There's some really powerful um, preferences in Pro Tools that allow you to work, again, various different ways. We're going to go to the settings page here. And we're going to go and enable something which is called Attention Most Recently Selected Track. And we're going to turn that on. Um, and I want to show you a workflow that I think is actually quite interesting. Uh, and we'll just go back to our tracks page for a second here. And this is leveraging the function in Pro Tools, which is called Scroll to Track. And Scroll to Track is the idea that I can uh, literally start typing a name of a track, whether it's a, an individual you know, lead vocal or a drum VCA or whatever it might be. Um, if I know the name of the track, I can grab it. And then using what we, saw, what we looked at previously, which was Auto Spill, Right, So automatic spill of attention VCA says spill zone right. We talked about that previously. Using kind of that combination of preferences is going to allow me to do something, I think, um, pretty interesting. So um, I can either use the keyboard shortcut or use the menu command in Pro Tools. Or even better, I can actually go to one of my soft keys. Uh, I think under the user page one, I actually have a scroll to track. So I'm going to press that. And a dialog pops up, and I can literally start typing. We're going to type in. Um, we're going to type in uh, for the the G Vox, the vocal VCA for G, v, G Vox. So let's do that. And there's. I see the list. Let's go to all. Let's hit OK. Now check it out. It found the track. It sifted and it grabbed it. And then with auto spill, it gave me all of the sub members of that, right? So Vox A, B, and C. Again, now I can go and say, oh, let's listen to it. Cool. You know what? This time, let's actually dive into C. So I'm going to spill into C. Great. Let's just look at panning on those because I want to do some blends. And let's also look at our sends, right? We're actually sending to uh, some reverb here with a, uh, a Valhalla verb. Now, 
one step further, we talked earlier about on attention zones. Great, I've got these vocals, they're part of group C, I'm tweaking the uh, individual sends, but you know what, let's do some EQ on these. Well, all I've got to do is go back to my um, extras page here, enable my on attention zone, I want to work on Gang Vox 3, and boom, now I'm EQing, right? Now I'm EQing on Gang Vox 3, right from here, if I attention any of these tracks, I can quickly get to the EQ and that dedicated predictable model that we talked about um, right from the, uh, the model here. Like here's my high pass filter we can see, right? Here's my high, high shelf, high parametric, and any track that I attention is gonna fly into that zone because it is currently active. If I disable the zone, now I'm back to panning and tweaking the sends on those individual tracks to get the blend that I need. At any point, I wanna go back and tweak the high pass filter, even on the fly. Just go back in, oh, let's tweak the filter a little bit on that. Let's go to 24 dB per octave and let's go pull that in, right? So this gives you incredible power um, now that you've got a combination of spill zones, right, being able to find a food group of elements you need to work on, even if it's nested, um, that gives you even better organizational control over all of those vocals or drums or keyboards or whatever they might happen to be. I can use the menu function to, to work my way out of those nested groups. I can enable and disable the zones at will, so I'm looking at individual sends, or I'm looking at a dedicated attention zone that anything that I attention is going to fly into that into that particular real estate. So it's incredibly uh, incredibly powerful. So while we're talking about those um, those gang vocals, I thought it would be cool to show you a little bit of um, uh, more about managing tracks and navigation. So we talked a lot about you know looking at our. We'll go back to our quick jump with memory locations. We can see all of our different views. We can quickly go in and say, you know what, let's go back and show all of our tracks zoomed out. Let's show all of our tracks you know, in a large view or a small view or whatever we need to see. Uh, and let's look at the second verse and boom, we're at the second verse and we're playing. So that, we've already looked at that. That's a really efficient way to navigate around. Well, from the tracks page, if I want to simply justify and jump to a track in Pro Tools, I can literally just go into Select Using the control key, the control modifier, I can touch a track. So I'm going to touch uh, the chant harm, and boom, Pro Tools actually jumped to justify to that particular track. Let's go to the guitar chunk. Boom, it jumped to that particular track. Let's go to Gang Vox uh, 5. Let's just jump to that. Okay? Now, um, so we need to actually go and kind of select the, the gang vocals that are on these tracks. I'm actually going to use the switches on the transport, holding shift down, um, to select a range of uh, track. So we can actually take a look, and we've actually selected a range of the gang vocals that we're going to now loop around. If we hit play, we're now isolating and kind of working on that particular section, and we can actually we can actually isolate those and kind of define a selection. So our, our next and previous functions here are giving us the ability to jump between clips, right? And that gives us a lot of control, a lot of power. So having the ability to define attention zones, leveraging spill zones, and using nested spill zones gives us a really great uh, sense of organization to be able to structure our session. Uh, and again, on the fly, we can control channel-based elements like pan and send that we looked at. We can leverage our attention zone to bring up the, uh, the EQ that we looked at. And then we can also take advantage of some of the new features in Pro Tools like scroll the track, where you can literally start typing the name of the track, which is then going to trigger that to, in this case it was a VCA, to automatically spill the members of the group into the bucket that we so choose. So organizational features that will speed up your management of working with tracks and Pro Tools.